So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning about how we can graph in the complex plane. So the complex plane is very easy to understand. Um, if we've been graphing before on the x and the y axis, this is really no different. The only thing is that we're going to be graphing vectors and we've you've probably discussed graphing vectors before. So what changes is that while the horizontal axis remains the real axis, okay, I'm going to write real here, the y axis becomes the imaginary, okay, so it's the imaginary axis, all right, so if you're given a complex number, like in the case of this example, and I'm going to zoom in for you, you're given this example of 2 minus 3i. So what we do is we're going to go out to the right 2 because it's positive. And then we're going to go down 3 units, 1, 2, 3. And we get this point right here. And then we draw that ray emanating from the origin. And we have a vector that looks like that. Okay, so it's real simple. To do all right so each complex number a plus bi determines a unique position vector with the initial point zero zero the origin and the terminal point a b which again a b are the components of the complex number so let's take a look at this complex number right here now it's already graphed but we're going to do it again anyways so we're going to go out six units in this case to the left so six units to the left, and then we're going to go three units down, okay? Because the vertical axis is the imaginary, okay? And we end up right here, and right there I can draw my vector emanating from the origin. So that's what the complex number, negative 6 minus 3i, looks like graphed. So if this video is helpful, be sure to like and subscribe.